Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vin Pierre, and on today's episode, we're going to be doing whiskey in, whiskey out for April 2022. Now, if you don't know, this is the show where I literally just talk about the whiskies that I got in this month and I talk about the bottles that I killed this month. We do them in that order, so if you want to just see one or the other, you can check out the timestamps below and you can see what the bit you're interested in. If not, let's crack straight on. All I do is bang these up on here, um, especially the whiskey in stuff. I don't have any opinions on those yet because I haven't covered them. And as always, reviews to those videos that I have covered will be in the description below, along with a plethora of other things as well. Let's get on to Whiskey In and we'll see what we've got this month. Lots of goodies, actually. We're, we're very much weighted on the Whiskey In versus the Whiskey Out. I didn't drink as much this month, so thankfully it's kind of well-rounded, but I have increased the volume of shelf. Let's get on to it then and see what we've got. We'll do the first three as a three, one at a time. We have the Tully Bedeen. I'll put them up here first. Tully Bedeen. 225, the 228, and the 500. Uh, full disclosure, they sent me this range to, to, uh, to review, but I'm going to be doing a tasting with them soon, as you might have seen on my channel. Um, that's worldwide, so if, if you're able to, if the laws permit, you should jump in on that. But um, yeah, very, very help, helpful to actually have the full bottles for those, for sure. And the reviews of those will be coming up fairly certain. I'm not going to do them back to back as uh, as you know I could do. I'll probably do one a month for the next three months or so just to space that out. Keeping on with it then, um, we'll do the other one I got sent as well which was the Glasgow 1770 Triple Distilled. If you keep an eye on the channel you might notice that I actually just won my whiskey of the month for April. Really, really, really great stuff now. They've changed the recipe, they've upped the size to 70 CLs and they've just made that an absolutely banging, uh, a good value whiskey. Well worth checking out. Moving on then, we have the McMurra, and this is the Brooks Whiskey DLX or Deluxe. They've actually done two versions of this, I've got the first one. Um, still haven't tried that actually, I've got that sealed. Um, don't know why, I just haven't got around to it. But I picked that up um, because my Summerton Club membership provided me with a massive, massive, massive discount. I mean, it, I can't remember exactly how much it was now, but it was like 60 quid. This is usually goes for like 100 odd pounds, it's ridiculous. So yeah, I bought it and I bought the one instead of the two and I have been thinking about going back and getting the second one. I've heard the second one's a little bit more smoky. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about that. If you want to see a head-to-head -head of this one versus the two, let me know. Maybe I'll plump out for that. Um, a lot of money to spend, but you know, we'll do it. Talking of Summerton, we have the latest Summerton Club release. Uh, and this is a, uh, a, a kind of collaboration with the Whiskey Baron. You might have seen the Whiskey Baron before. They did one, oh, I want to say 2019 Christmas, the Christmas bottle, um, which was lovely. And this is a 15-year-old Gervin finished in port casks. You might say port pipes. Um, it, spoiler alert, it's bloody lovely. Um, unfortunately, I don't think you'd be able to get hold of that now if, unless you were a club member. And if you were, brilliant. Um, and if you're not, they're only UK based, but you should definitely check them out. I mean, check out my reviews of Summerton whiskies if you're if you're still not sure about them, because not not every single bottle is exactly to my tastes for sure. I've got a couple up here that I didn't enjoy that much. Um, one in particular that I, I wasn't that fussed about at all. But apart from that, they've all been very very interesting and good value. Finally, then you guys have been banging on about this for ages, and I finally I finally got it. The Glenjonic 15 Revival. I, I picked this up because Lock Fine Whiskey, the shop, had this for £51 before delivery. And I just happened to have some good money at the time. And I was like, got to get it. You know, uh, people are always getting on at me for having... I don't think I've ever covered a Glenjonic on the show. Obviously, I've drunk Glenjonics in the past, especially at festivals and whatnot. But I've never owned a bottle of it before. Now I've got it. There you go. Review coming semi soon we'll see we'll see how the queue goes let me know if you want me to bump it up the list or not of course you do that's it then for the whiskey in we've only got two bottles for whiskey out and i killed off two guard whiskies well one guard whiskey and one semi guard whiskey the first one then is the black bottle and this is the uh, alchemy series release number two experiment two and this is their um island smoke um super 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 peaty like i mean it stinks it's so good if you if you like that sort of thing if you don't like that sort of thing, not so good for you, but I've got the three. I've got the standard black bottle and the alchemy red, you know, the whatever it is, the um, the sherry, I forget what it's even called now, the sherry one. Um, and I've had all three of them sat next to each other, and this is the one that I kept reaching for over and over and over again. £26, absolute bargain. 
top quality. Top, I wouldn't say top quality, but it's good enough for its price. And then finally, then the uh, Teeling Whiskey small batch. I've had this thing for yonks, um, and kind of I kept it around because I don't have many Irish whiskies, and it's always good to have an example of Irish whiskey around for doing videos like this. But um, it's gone now. You know, a, a couple of dark bottles here as well that are gone. There you go. That's my whiskey and whiskey out for this month. Hopefully, there's some cool stuff in there that you enjoyed. Let me know what you bought this month or what you've killed off this month in the comments below. Keen to start a, uh, a discussion on whatever you're drinking right now, as always. And as part of that, of course, don't forget that you can email me whenever you want, uh, vin at nononsensewhiskey.com. I'll get back to, back, back to people pretty quickly. And don't forget as well, I don't mention this nearly often enough, I have a Discord channel that's an excellent, excellent, excellent place for people all around the world. So uh, links in the description below, uh, I have how to, to join that, and um, make sure you go and check it out because it's really cool. Hopefully you enjoy these videos still. I'm still enjoying making them. These are my favourite ones to make, to be honest, because I get to just talk about the bottles that I'm drinking right now instead of just one for 10 minutes at a time. But yeah, we'll be back with another one of these next month and we'll be doing more reviews in between. So make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, all that usual gubbins, and I'll catch you again soon.